Good morning. I am here uh, for a really quick video on a Nissan Envy hack. I actually want to do a few of these videos too because there's a few things we've figured out, things I'm actually learning from other people that I want to share with you guys. So today's video is on vanity mirrors. So let me show you why I'm doing that. So in the Nissan Envy, uh, this is the Envy 3500. This one is a 2017, but these are all the same in all of them. They have these big honking visors. But there are no vanity mirrors. In fact, not only are there no, no vanity mirrors, these are actually thick enough that the ones they sell that can clip on, um, kind of think old school for those of us who are missing vanity mirrors in older cars, you cannot clip them onto these. This right little bracket looking thing actually makes it even harder to put a mirror right there. So what I've got today is on Amazon, I found, oh, hi, <laughs> I found these, um, it's a magnetic mirror. Let's see that right there. And on the back, they do have magnets or a magnet you can attach. We do not want that magnet. What I'm actually going to use, what I'm actually going to use are command strips. This is something we did in our other van that we traded in. So let me show you how I attach it. Okay, as you can see, I have not put anything on there yet. So the first thing I'm doing, you guys are gonna keep seeing my reflection in this, so sorry. Um, I sized this up on there. Now, because the back of this actually has this frame, it creates a lip. I am debating between putting the command strip on this little center piece where the magnet was supposed to go versus um, actually putting them across the top and the bottom. Our last mirrors, we did the center strip, but I don't think it had any of this on the back, so I was able to attach it that way. So I'm going to play with this for another minute, and I'll let you know just how I put it on there. All right, so for the configuration for the mirror that we got, I actually laid the command strips on here and found that the little lip that exists right there is the exact thickness of those. So it's going to be perfect to attach the command strips to this. Now what I have done is I have put two on here, one on either side. If you try to attach it going up and down, it leaves this gap in the middle and it actually will fall off. That is something I've learned. So... I have those attached up there now. Next thing I will do is I will pull those strips off and then I will attach this mirror and be just like that. So let me show you that part. Guys, pay attention to what you're doing. So I had the command strips on there <clears throat> and I held the visor up slightly, put the mirror on, and I held on the front to put pressure for the 30 seconds that the command strip package says to do. However, I wasn't paying attention to placement. Don't you just love my crooked mirror? Now the upside, this is removable if I need to. Honestly, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. I will make the driver's side one level though. So that is my one tip now. Pay attention to what you're doing and make sure that it's level. And again, it's command strips. So this will come off if I choose to, uh, which is also really nice should you ever need to for some reason. You pull the mirror off and then you pull the command strips off. So. There it is. Let me go ahead and get that one on and I'll show you how much better I can do. All right, here's my driver's side one. As you can tell, so much straighter, so much better than I did on that one. Um, I'm probably not gonna live that one down to be honest, guys. When Sean sees this, he's gonna, um, yeah, he's gonna get a kick out of that. So anyhow, uh, all I used uh, really quick were these three pound command strip. I actually had some extra strips in the back of this package of hooks. So that's what I used to put them up there. It was two per mirror. I will put link, Amazon affiliate links in the description box down below for both these exact mirrors and the command hooks, just in case you know it's easier to not run to the store or um, you just don't want to, because I know plenty of people who choose not to as well. So I will put those down in the description box below so that way you can get your own, you can put in your own vanity mirrors in your Nissan Envy. And I have no idea why they didn't put those in these vans. It makes no sense. There you have it. That's my vanity mirror hack for the Nissan Envy since they chose not to put them in for some reason. 
I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video or if it helped you out at all. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything that's coming up next. And I will see you in the next video.